Hi, this is Hope Kaya of Santa Fe-Webdesign.com. This is a tutorial on adding or changing images on a web page in a website that's built with Joomla using the JCE content editor and plugins that go with it. So if you have a Joomla built site, uh, you can download this extension. You can go to extensions.joomla.org and uh, you can search for JCE and here it is and it's free. The plugins you need to pay for, um, not very much and I've installed pretty much all of them on this site and uh, it adds to the functionality a great deal. So essentially you log into the administrative area of your site and you click on article manager after you've installed the JCE content editor and its re related plugins and then um, you can click on the page you want to um, work on and you can see we have this image already so we're just going to select it once there are many ways but select it once and then the fourth image from the right is a little insert edit image button and let's say you want to grab one from your hard drive. You want to grab uh, an image from your hard drive. You can tell that we're currently in the mis as in miscellaneous folder uh, right now. Uh, so you do want to be in the folder that's appropriate for you. Uh, so make sure you select the folder that's appropriate for the file you're about to upload. And we are going to click, this is a little obscure, but you have to find this little button on the right next to the question mark, next to the help button, and you have to click on that. And then you're going to click on add, okay? And this is going to take you to your hard drive. And we will go into my client's uh, files, and I'm just going to grab an image here okay and I'm going to choose to open it and then I'm going to I see that it's here right oh interesting here you can change the name I didn't realize that till now so you could click on it to change the name if you like and then I'm going to upload it by clicking on upload and you can see a little green checkbox here um, you would think this window would close by itself, but it doesn't. I'm going to close it myself. And now I see, if I click here, there it is, the one I just uploaded. And by clicking on it, um, I can see that that particular file name has just shown up in this path. So I know I've selected it. It's telling me the dimensions. Now, the, the one I had in there was already set to be left aligned with a margin to the right of 15. So the nice thing about selecting an existing image and then browsing to a new one is that you will inherit the settings of the existing one. And then you don't have to bother to select left and how many pixels of a margin you want. And I'm going to uncheck equal values because that could screw things up and put 15 back in here. All right, scroll down update but yeah let's let's update now you can see this image that's here so i'm going to grab a corner of it and make it a little smaller and see how it tells you what the pixel width is so essentially this helps you make the make change the size of an image as it's seen by a viewer but you, you still end up with a bigger image on your server, so you don't want it to be too big when you upload this. Now, if I were happy with this, I would choose save, but I'm not happy with this because it's not the image I want, so I'm going to can't close. But if, if I hit save or apply, that would make it live on the website. And if we went to the website, this picture and refresh this page, if we refresh this page, this picture would have changed. So that's really it. It's no big deal um, to add or change an image on a web page using Joomla with the JCE content editor and the related plugins. Okay, enjoy Joomla.